wonderful learners how are you all so today we are going to discuss with a new chapter introduction to aerial photographs so first of all students um when keep when we click pictures so photographs are generally taken with normal cameras and they provide us a view of the object similar to what we see them with our own eyes okay if we talk about we get from the cameras what do we get from the cameras so we get a horizontal perspective of the object and a photograph of a part of settlement provide us the image it uh, appears to use when we look at it okay so if we want to take a bird's eye view of similar uh, feature we have to place ourselves somewhere in the air uh, when we do so and look down we get a very different picture so this picture we get through aerial photographs okay so this is called aerial photographs and uh, what are aerial photographs actually so the photographs taken from an aircraft or helicopter using a pre uh, precision camera are termed aerial photographs okay so aerial photographs have been found to be indispensable uh, tools in the topographical mapping and interpretation interpretation of the images of the object okay and when uh, was aerial photography started in india so if i tell you about the introduction of this part so aerial photography in india started in 1920 when large scale aerial photographs of agra city were obtained okay and uh, and there is a question what did survey of india take up first so after this air survey uh, air survey party of the survey of india took up aerial survey of eravadi uh, uh, delta forest and the survey was completed during 1923 to 24 afterwards several uh, similar surveys were carried out and advanced method of mapping from aerial photographs were used okay so this was about the introduction of this, this part right now let's talk about some uh, keywords and there are some keywords students which are very very important to know without these meaning it's not possible to understand uh, the chapter so first is aerial photograph as i said photographs taken from an airplane aeroplane or helicopter using pre uh, precision camera is termed as the aerial photograph and then we have aerial camera what is aerial camera so a precision camera specially designed for use in aircrafts is named as aerial camera and then aerial photography and the art or science in which aerial uh, aerial photographs are taken from a platform in the air it is called aerial photography now fiducial marks it is index marks rigidly connected at the center or corner edges of the camera body when the film is exposed these marks appear on the film negative okay then we have the new word is forward overlap so what does it for the common area and on two air uh, you know air photographs in the flight direction is termed as forward overlap an image interpretation is an act of identifying the image is called image interpretation another point is the foot of the uh, perpendicular drawn from the camera lens center on the ground plane is called another point then we have next point is principal point what is principal point the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the camera lens uh, lens and center uh, on the on the photos photos plane is known as principal point and then we have principal distance so perpendicular distance from the perspective center to the plane of the photograph is termed as principal distance clear next is perspective center so what is perspective center it is a student the point of origin okay perspective center of the bundle of light rays in called perspective center then photo photogrammetry 
so this is the science and technology we can say of taking reliable measurement from aerial photographs is called photography clear so this was about the keywords which are very important to understand then we have use of aerial photographs so students aerial photographs are used in um, topographical mapping and uh, used in interpretation uh, these two uh, different uses have led to the development of photogrammetry and uh, photo image interpretation so they are the two independent but related sciences uh, photogrammetry refers to the science and technology of making reliable measurements from aerial photographs and it facilitate precise precise uh, measurements related to the length width and height from such photographs okay and they are used as the data sources from for creating and updating photographs map uh, image interpretation is an art of identifying image of objects and judging their relative significance right so here we can say students like uh, like uh, if we talk about the image interpretation so here we can say uh, image interpretation is applied to obtain qualitative information from the aerial photographs like uh, land use land cover topographical forms soil types etc and um, image interpretation is a you know we can say a trained interpreter utilize aerial photographs to analyze the land use changes clear so this was about the use of aerial photographs then we have advantage of aerial photographs so students if we talk about the advantage so we can say the basic advantage that aerial photographs offer our ground based observation like improve vintage point and uh, second we can say time freezing ability and then we have broadened uh, sensitivity and then we have uh, the advantage of three dimensional perspective okay three dimensional perspective so through this we can say these are the advantage of aerial photography clear now we have next word is um, like uh, next is types of aerial photography students so the aerial photographs are classified on the basis of position of the camera exist scale angular extent of coverage and the film use so the type of the aerial photographs based on the position of optical exist and the scale are given below like first is types of aerial photographs based on the position on of the camera exist first is vertical photographs second is low op uh, oblique photographs and then we have high oblique photograph so students here uh, i can simply say like um, uh, in if i say about the basis of position so the camera advan there are some advantage of aerial photographs like first we can say here uh, in this kind of uh, situation the vertical photographs and aerial photographs two distinct axes are uh, formed from the camera lens uh, center uh, one towards the ground plane and the other towards the uh, photograph photo plane so the uh, perpendicular dropped from the camera lens center to the ground plane is uh, termed as the vertical axis right and then what is going on after that ki uh, the pump line uh, drawn from the lens center to the photograph is known as the uh, photo uh, photo uh, photo uh, photographic optical axis so when the photo photo plane is parallel to the ground plane the two axis also coincide with each other the photograph so obtained so obt uh, you know obtained is known as the 
vertical uh, aerial photographs right student so here we can understand this through this it would be uh, the uh, it would be the um, we can say worth mentioning here uh, that is normally very difficult to achieve perfect parallelism between the two planes due to the fact that the aircraft flies over the cur curved surface of the earth hence photographs exist um, you know um, it's really very difficult to click the picture right sorry students uh, next is low oblique so in low oblique uh, aerial photograph which has been uh, taken you can see on the picture uh, with an international uh, deviation of 15 degree to 30 degree in the camera is from the vertical axis is called the low oblique photographs this photograph is often used to uh, used in uh, recognizing uh, survey especially for survey um, this kind of photographs are used and then we have high oblique so you can see in figure 6.7 high oblique photograph so here you can see the high oblique photographs are those photographs which obtain when the camera exists in internationally uh, inclined about 60 degree from the vertical axis so this photography is used in uh, recognize survey right okay especially for survey these type of photographs are used so here is a table comparison between vertical and oblique photograph so you can see optical exist characteristics are mentioned coverage shape of the area photographed scale different in comparison to the map and there are some advantage according to this vertical low oblique and high oblique photography right students so in the next video we will discuss in the type of aerial photographs based on scale till then thank you so much